Well, you know, it's become tradition over the last couple of years now, uh, and, and most of you who check out my YouTube page and, and listen to me on Mixcloud and whatnot, and Star 102.1 as well, know that every year around this time and around the end of March, we talk to a very special person who is a very good friend of mine, who, like I said, I made friends with a couple of years ago. Her name is Heaven Ramsey, and she's the co-founder of the Cerebral Palsy Dream Team, and she is here to talk to us today about World CP Day, which as we're recording this is tomorrow, Tuesday, October 6th. And she also has some other big things coming up for her and our friend Rochelle Heath in Atlanta. So uh, let's take it away. Uh, Heaven, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Um, hi, everyone. I'm glad I'm here to talk about cerebral palsy and World Cerebral Palsy Day and all the things that are coming up for me personally. Absolutely. So, you know, as, as we were talking right before we started recording, COVID-19 has pretty much put a damper on 2020 and uh, it definitely put a damper on World CP Day because you and Rochelle didn't get to do the, uh, do the fantastic shirts that you guys do every year and, and of course twice a year. Uh, but uh, as I understand it, there are plans for the March edition, the, na the National CP Awareness Day. Yes. Um, so there will be no shirts this, uh, like you said, I'm the co-founder of the CP Dream Team, which is how we make the shirts and everything. Uh, there will be no shirt for this Cerebral Palsy Day, World Cerebral Palsy Day, but there will be one for the Nationals. It's in the works. It's in the works. Um, so we're so, uh, accepting art submissions right now um, for the like graphic on the t-shirt. So that's really exciting. We're trying to figure out who is going to be lucky enough to have their design on our 10th shirt so that's fantastic so yeah get, get your get your things out there if you want your design out there make sure you send it to heaven and or rochelle and uh, they'll be able to get it going so uh since tomorrow is world cp day uh, do you have anything special planned do you have anything going on um not to be honest not really because again corona i literally of course and like that's it but um, of course I'll be wearing green I hope you guys will be as well you know you can put a green porch light in your uh, lamp I we've seen a lot of those actually you would be surprised and just be willing to support and try and better understand cerebral palsy as a whole Absolutely. And and that's very important. Go green tomorrow. I'll be wearing my green. That's the best way that you can support those in cere with cerebral palsy and to show awareness and your support for everybody. Wear green, put on the green lights, do your thing, and uh, just show your support. That's all you got to do and show some love. Now, um, even though there's nothing big planned for CP Day tomorrow, you and Rochelle are doing something pretty exciting here within the next few days. What's that all about? So there is a cerebral palsy conference um, for the Green Mountain Support Services. It's their fifth annual cerebral palsy, cerebral palsy uh, disability conference. And I was invited to be an ambassador for it, as well as Rochelle, um, my friend BJ and Thomas, all of us have been um, invited to be ambassadors. My best friend Charisse is going to be speaking at the um, conference and I believe, let me make sure, there's just so much stuff. Um, first of all, you can use uh, code Rochelle2020, get 15% off because even though it is virtual, it is a virtual conference, um, it does cost a little bit of money to see which is really like it's obviously a big deal if they're <laughs> charging for you to see it. Hopefully. Obviously, right. Um, so it is the 8th and the 9th, and then it also has two really big speakers, Josh Blue, who is a comedian with Cerebral Palsy, and Maysoon uh, Zaid as well on the 9th. So Josh Blue is on the 8th, and um, Maysoon Zaid is on the 9th, because it is a two-day thing, so yeah. And that's fantastic. So like... I'm so curious, like, how, how, did, how, how did they approach you? How did you know? When, they, when did they let you know that you were going to be one of the ambassadors? Um, literally, it's just through email. We did not know about them. Like, me, the, me, Rochelle, and my grandmother, who's all helping me with their cerebral palsy um, shirts and everything, and my page as well. We did not know about them, and I'm glad we do now. Um, it was just all through email and Facebook. You know, that's where people find me, through a Stairway to the Stars, Heaven's Journey with CP, and all my other social media. So, yeah. 
that's fantastic. So I mean, you can you can see the difference that you make in the world how, when you, when yeah. when these national and and world conferences come to you and say, "Will you be one of the representees, if you will, of this?" Yeah. I mean, that's 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 got to be a, a wonderful feeling. Um, yes, it is because, um, and thank you for saying that. But it is because like. As a little kid, I never knew that there was someone with cerebral palsy, especially as mild as I have it, because I am one of the very, very lucky ones. So to be a person that did not even know another person with cerebral palsy at all, and to be an ambassador for such a big thing like this, it's it's everything that a younger, my younger self would want and would need at a time where I didn't feel like I fit in because of my cerebral palsy. Absolutely, and, and it's, it's just a, it is. It's, it's an amazing feeling when you know that there's a community of people out there that know exactly what you're going through and want to help you spread the word as much as possible. Yeah. Absolutely. Really Absolutely. Well, gosh, Josh Blue, I, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of his because I, I remember when he was on the last comic standing, gosh, probably about a decade or so more ago, <laughs> and then he won that competition and became a huge huge star and so this is this is really exciting that you're getting yes, to do this absolutely. and Rochelle as well I mean I just it blows me away but and then again it doesn't I mean this is well deserved you guys get the word out there oh thank you and you're and they're and you're, very thankful too right yeah. and got it in your friend Cherise she she was on national television with with her yes. story oh my gosh yes um she did nine months with Courtney Cox and it was going through a uh, different like challenges that people uh, that are pregnant for nine months go through, uh, like to be moms, yeah, and everything. So she was on that as well, and they chose her because they thought her story would be interesting with being pregnant and having cerebral palsy, and now she's a new mom, so yeah. And she's a new mom, and she looks like she's happier than she's ever been in yes. her entire life. Yes, and her son Jesse is like literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. He is so sweet and so. Yeah. That's fantastic. Are you gonna you're gonna you gotta go visit her when COVID finally uh, slows down? Literally, oh my goodness, yes. Ugh. I I I wanted to see him like as a baby. I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. Sure. We have skyped once or twice so I could see him in like. A baby form because by the time I get to see her, he's gonna be like one years old. Oh around, yeah, being his own person and everything. So yeah. right, and again, thanks COVID because you you've yeah ruined, oh. you've ruined everything. This year. <laughs> Absolutely everything. But one thing it can't ruin is the demeanor. It cannot ruin one's passion for what for what's important in the world, and that's exactly what CP awareness is all about and so once again tomorrow as we are recording this uh on october 5th tomorrow tuesday october 6th is world cp day go out and show your support go green uh go green everywhere social media your lights wear your clothing slap on a green magnet it doesn't have to be anything in particular just the color green do something with the color green to show your support for cp awareness and heaven and rochelle are going to be ambassadors at this amazing event on october 8th and ninth, correct? Yes, correct. And give the full name again. Um, so it is a Green Mountain Support Services, their fifth annual cerebral palsy conference. And obviously, as we have listed some very important um, people and names that are going to be um, a part of this conference, going to be talking during this conference, it's very, it's very much a big deal. And um, I just hope you tune in through the eighth and the ninth to see this amazing conference talking about nothing else but cerebral palsy and all the different things about it. Everything, everybody's part in the conference is gonna be a little bit different, but it's all gonna be revolving around the topic of cerebral palsy. Right, and uh, is there a specific website or Facebook page where people can go to to check this out? Yes, a Facebook page known as Green Mountain Support Services. You can check their Facebook page to see all the details of what time. I know I said what day, but what time and how much it costs and who's going to be there because there's even more people. But those are just the very, very two important ones. And my friend Therese, of course. So, yeah. Well, there you go. Heaven Ramsey, as always, you are a close friend and an ally, and I, I love talking to you. And thank you again for spreading the word and helping out with CP awareness. 
Um, thank you for having me, and I'm glad to talk about it because it's my passion. It's very much uh, something that affects me, and I'm glad to spread the word and just um, spread awareness for cerebral palsy. Absolutely. Well, we'll be talking to Heaven Ramsey right here on well YouTube, or YouTube, my YouTube channel. That's where this is going. So you're listening to it on the YouTube channel. So thanks for listening. <laughs>